All right, so hey everybody. Um, good night, good morning, good, good evening. You know, whichever part of the day this video catches you. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Jeremy and Henry. I am, I am lyrics husband, Simone's husband. You know, and uh, I'm making this video in response to a video that you posted. Well, it would be yesterday for me. Um, yeah, a video that you posted recently, titled "Fix Your Crown." A lot of things were said. A lot of things were said, and I decided to basically. You know, kind of come and just speak my truth in a sense. You know, I'm in the center. Sorry, I'm not really used to the camera thing. For people where normally watch Simone and stuff like that and lyric. For people normally watch lyric when they know, say, this, this, this is not my style at all. I don't deal with the social media thing that much. I don't necessarily come out and speak publicly that much. You know, when I was open with my life, um, compared to Simone, but I feel the need for kind of come and just address some of the stuff that were said in the video, some of the things that were said in the video. Yeah. Um, reality is, I don't even expect this for happen. I never expected it to get this far to the point where, yo, know, things are reached on social media. Me believe said this one situation between two adults <coughs> and as such we sit together and we have a conversation. All parties involved. You get me? And we hash out, we need for hash out and we decide on the best step forward. That are that are my that are my that are my mentality still. You get me? But I like drama. I believe in it. I believe in a scandal. I'm mean, gonna believe in putting certain things out there upon social media. I'm gonna explain why. I'm mean, gonna have a problem with openness, you know. But when you put things like that out there upon social media, wait, uh, wait, 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 ten for the, is that it opened up the door to everybody having an input and everybody having a say. And if you're not grounded a certain way, every advice becomes gospel. And that's not safe. You get me? Um, every advice becomes gospel. When I mean, me, me already ready for the bashing from this, I expect a lot of people for. I expect a lot of people for dislike, or or that's the thumb yeah, dislike and um, for have negative comments for say and yo you're free. I decided to put this out there so you're free to comment and respond and so you want to say and. And dog me up good too, I guess. You get me? But more more I just a couple of things we get said in the video. Yeah. And disclaimers early out. My intention is not for disrespect Simone in any way, shape or form. My intention is not to come here and and start a scandal or start a cyber war back and forth. And my intention that. You get me? My intention and I forget details, but will help me in my relationship either. I don't phone the business that. Straight up. I I reserve she won't go ahead and talk about details regarding the relationship that's up to her. You get me? She have fear of truth or she have to speak. Just like me have my truth and me have to speak. But I reserve details for myself. You get me? Um, my children one day, because we're up on the internet, stay up on the internet though. My children one day, my boys, I will probably see the video. And more of them understand at the end of the day and say, yo, you get to me and say, them can't watch a video and necessarily see them father you, their mother, certain way. So it's important for me to ensure that I choose more words carefully. I mean, no, I disrespect nobody. Zine. But a couple of things get said in the video, I want to tackle them because 
Simone talk about the church. You get to mass say and, and we just not like how the church overall will be portrayed. You know this with us both being Christians. We might not look like it, but <laughs> love God with all of heart. You get me? Oh, we might not look like modern day Christians, but me are traditional Christians, so to speak, sorry, Makari come and say. You know. But we can see if listen, we know for me and Simone we love God with all of heart. Um Seeing stuff like marriage is a facade. I want to tackle some of the nickel things there. You see me even comments made about people we expect to reach out to you and, and then they reach out to you. Me. Talking about the boys and how you're doing this with the boys and and even from a longer time making certain comments regarding the boys on social media that, that affect me and I can understand. I'm going to explain a little bit in depth regarding that as well. I'm going to go through everything but just kind of overview of some of the stuff. And also when you're going to make talks like you did everything that you should have done as a wife. All right, here we go. That first and foremost I will say is a lie. I don't think either of us did enough. So let me start this. I'm going to start with the last thing I'm going to mention. Simone make a statement where she has say, oh, it's like she demands justice, so to speak. Because she believes that she do everything that she should have done as a wife. But yet still, it not seem like nothing good reach her out of her situation. Or out of all of the sacrifices that she make. And I'm sorry, but yo, that's, that's... We both failed in a lot of areas. And also, I'm going to say, maybe completely transparent. We both failed in a lot of areas. But one principle we learn in our life, and it's important for people to understand this, right? Because the experiences that you have in life, you can learn as much as you can possibly learn from them, you have to understand this principle. You see, if you can cast blame, you have to can also take a certain amount of responsibility as well. Blame and responsibility go hand in hand. You know, this is what nobody wants to say. It is a fact in life. There are a lot of scenarios where you can throw blame upon somebody, right? You can blame somebody for certain things and it, it, it not necessarily have nothing to do with with, with what you did or, or anything like that or, or not we can necessarily be put back on you but for most situations in life if you are involved and you can cast blame you can also look upon it and say what could I have done different you get me I'm a feel like I feel like I feel like it's unfair I say you did everything. Yo, this, 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 what we're going through now was never the beginning. It, it's not the beginning or the start. You see me? Of, of, of all the issues that we have symptoms. But it's not the real issue. Or it's, it, it's definitely not the real issues. I'm more than one of them. <coughs> we both feel on both sides. Straight up. So, me as a man, I don't necessarily always express things the way Simone I gotta express certain things. She very, very much when I gotta say emotional, because every man uh, everybody emotional, right? But in terms of how she express her emotions then so to speak, she can cry and only can empathize with her I mean and necessarily respond or are act that way so to speak. Right? And I guess society kinda do with that as men. You see me? Like the woman allowed for can cry and can ball and can do this and can do that and people will see people will openly see them pain but you don't see them till they with men we feel pain too we want to understand just biblically what we come from as women zine we come from man you get me so if you feel like say you emotional and ball ball and you feel things deeply what you think about the man then the man then feel things deeply too you know we feel things deeply we don't necessarily always express it, you see me? And we don't necessarily always express it the best ways either, you see me? But, we feel. So I'm sorry, I am not necessarily cry on camera, but I want to understand how I feel too. Like, I have been hurt in this relationship as well. Like, I talk about years where it's a hurt. It's not a situation in which 
you see a symptom of something happening now and you just feel like oh all of a sudden Jeremy is this bad person no yo everything of a genesis and it was never my intention for anything to happen you see me for this relationship to suffer because guess what I learned marriage from my mother and my father. I see, yo, I see them two, they go through holy. I see them two, they stick it out. In my head, nothing, nothing is irreconcilable. With the God of me, sir, anything fixable. I believe that. Because I have been in some unfixable situations before. I see them turn around. You get what I say? The whole issue with the church. I have, have a genuine problem with that. I have a genuine problem with that. Because guess what? I'm gonna feel like it fear for bash the church. I'm gonna feel like it fear. <coughs> I understand if 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 I get if there are individuals in church that a lot of times push their own agendas, right? I understand that because that happened. But the church on a whole, no. I'm gonna believe that. Because in this situation specifically, I'm gonna feel like the church feel it. I'm gonna say that straight up. I don't feel like the church feels us. I don't feel like we need to start one more church scandal and say what the church never do from what the church do. You see me? Like, me, me not. the church that we go to, the church that we attend, are one of the most liberal churches that we know. Straight up. Like, Simone has had so much freedom in her ability to express herself there and just be who she wants to be. Nobody no cower down too much about her piercings. Nobody no, no, no page her about her loudness or her behavior. In fact, our pastor defends her openly so many times. Is, is, I tell you, yo, Simone is loved at that church. Martin, I understand. What it's called at the point? Oh. Simone is loved. You remember I tell you, Martin, I understand that. Simone is loved at that church. Simone is, 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 I mean, from, from pastors got all the way down to congregation. Simone is adored at that church. So for Simone, I say, you oh, the church, you know, do this and the church, you know, do that. I have a problem with that because, man, to the honest truth, like, I have never seen such an outpouring of love. You see me? For somebody who don't necessarily fit the mold of a Christian, like the way I've seen the church pour out for Simone. You see me? And the opportunities where she get for even our ministry just by being affiliated. You get my say? with the church that we are part of. It hurt me to the core, man, because they give and they give and they give. But when we need anything, when she needs something, when she's going through a difficult situation, I them see on bail way out. So I find it hard. It hurt me to the core. You get to me, I say, it hurt me to the core. Now I understand, see, I have one and two people who will make them come in and say some things. I understand that. And then people that are rogue more time and, and, and speak things and say things where the leadership wouldn't necessarily agree with. But this way, you can't fault them. You can't, you can't fault the church for that. There's a lot people. You can't say church people for that. There's a lot people overall. People do that. You vex the people up here, but you never pierce him. Yo. That's just part of life. If you are going to be who you are, you have to be ready and be prepared for some people in life to not necessarily agree with you. Just straight up. Some people in our life now don't necessarily agree with the decisions that we make and you have to be fine with that. People don't need to agree. If you know your truth, then you do you. And if you and God have the relationship, then you and God walk it out. But you don't need to load up church people. Sometimes they must figure out for them thing too. You have to allow them enough grace if you can do that as well. And you have to allow them enough grace for understand. So sometimes even if I judge them, I judge. You see me? You allow them the space and the grace if you can figure it out upon the morning as well. So that, 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 them thing they rub me the wrong way. When you talk about stuff like marriage is a facade. Yo, marriage is a beautiful thing. I will never, ever, ever don't play marriage. Ever. I feel like it's a beautiful thing. You see me? People difficult. Marriage in itself, the system works. Just because the system don't necessarily work for you doesn't mean the system, you see me, don't work. And, and for me... It we can never look back like when I look at what's going on now, I can't I can't understand how it is that like <laughs> I can't understand brother. I can't understand how all of a sudden somebody can just look upon you with different eyes, just full of hatred when years
experience we want to spend together. You see me? You can look back and you can actually see like good times in it. A lot of good times as well. I mean, I understand how people can just forget all of the good times. You forget all of the good times. You see me? I just make it seem like a chaos all around. You get me? Yo, marriage is a beautiful thing. I'm going to feel like it take a coming together people. It take a denying yourself. You see me? It takes you deciding, say, yo, you're going to put on yourself, you're going to put on this. I, for a long time, for years upon years upon years, it is something I have said over and over, have not felt like a priority in my marriage. And I tell you straight up. I see comments with people that talk about, yo, you know, it always happened to women. You give, you, you give everything to a man and then nothing will come out and tell it. What, what? Suppose I were to tell you it was the other way around. And I never believe that, don't it? And I never understand the sacrifices that were made to support Simone, to push Simone. And I wouldn't even understand just how much I've had her back, putting out her fires a lot of time. You get to my say when she and people fall out. It has been, yo, just, just constant work. And I am telling you, I have never, ever tried harder at anything in my life than I have at this marriage. I have never, I have never tried harder at anything in my life than I have this marriage. Straight up. Did I get everything right? Hell no. Yo, make mistakes? No. 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 But at the end of the day, I know if you have facts, say, yo, I'm try with this. I'm going to work, I'm going put in, I'm going put in the work for this. You get to me, I say, yeah, anyways. Another comment you get me about the whole friends thing, and, and, well, not necessarily friends, but people who should have expected to reach out to her that never reach out to her. Shall I cut them off? Yo, you see, you see this world we live in, you know? Or this age, more old fashioned. I hope you can probably realize. I might look, yeah, I might look like a young modern day hippie or whatever it is. You see me, but me definitely old fashioned. What about old fashioned principles? Because nowadays, when you look on social media, social media, tell you to chop them in your circle. It tell you, say, yo, somebody crossed the wrong way. Your man, leg off for them, make them go on. Yo, nothing in social media pushes. Is in a reconciliation or fixing things? Are people taking the time out to see what the differences are and see how we can work around them? Nobody don't have the time for that again. People done with you. People are cut you out of them life every year. Every single year is a cut somebody out of your life year. Straight up. From 2009, when this start? Probably from 2012. Every year from 2012, come up. You see me? Your man decided year, I'm going to shed some people. I'm going to cut out some people out of my life. My circle going to get smaller. Every year. Every year. You soon have nobody left. You see me? People soon about that. So people soon on about the left if I saw them continuously attack, if I saw them continuously are dealing with life and I deal with situations. You see me? Our friends are feeling it too. People in the OTS are reach out to me. I had to condition in my mind that I know these people and, and them people that love me. And it's not a situation in which they are ignoring my karma. Did I go through it too? I'm not even gonna say did I like it's a past tense thing. Yo, bro. Me, I go through it. Because people used to talking to us as the Henrys. You get to me? So people used to, to dealing with it as the Henrys. I know them realize that things gone awry. How, how them are going to communicate with one person without the other person feeling like, say, yo, they might take up for the other person. Yo, you have to be understanding to them and understand that them hurt just as much by this. So if them not reach out and because them not care, but I have to convince myself for that because I see some people and I call me and I tell you, I'm going to feel that way. I'm going to say, oh God, God, my heart. God, my heart. Because I tell you, this is not easy. You see me? It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. But I have to believe. I have to believe. No matter what. Yo, if you lose a hope, you ain't know nothing. But I have to believe. Say, yo, my friend, them genuinely love we, we, each of us. You see? I have to believe see what them love with. And because them love with, 
And because of how them are process the information to them, no might necessarily know exactly what to say and them afraid to reach out. So yo, you're a cut off people because they may reach out to you. You don't, you don't know. You don't know. Another thing we get said where and, and it's been said, and I just know since this I said. Because I've had a problem with this statement now for a while. And it's used in multiple scenarios. Where Simon paint the picture as if yo, I'm doing and I have to do this with two boys. You see me, even when she had the gym and stuff like that, you know. Before we even separated, uh, all the time, as I must say, every single time when it come up, you see me, and people all are coming and I say, yo, Lyrico, you do this with two boys, and it's almost like you make everything seem, you, you make it seem as if you have no help with the boys. I starting over, and I have to be starting over with two boys. Hey, it's not you alone. It is not you alone. Simone has an overwhelming support group when it comes on to those boys, right? Myself being number one as them father. Me not steal to them boys in life. And I tell you that straight up, me not some of them father there. You see me? I want to do everything about picking them, but I reason with them, I talk to them. Even like a Jalil, Jalil, I want to enjoy it. I talk to Jalil, like, huh? Huh? <laughs> and I talk and stuff like that. Yo, those boys, they are my, they are our pride and joy. You see me, I can safely say that. For the two of And may I tell you, you see Simone, grandmother, her name, yo, you see she, you see mama. No, I say Simone, I have a right for come on and I make it seem as if I be, I'm doing this with the boys and I have to be doing this with the boys. Yo, you, the, the boys are mainly over the grandmother. The boys are mainly over the grandmother. Anytime errands I forget run, anytime things I forget done, they have an active, they play an active, not a day, honestly, not a day goes by that the boys aren't over the grandmother, right? So guess what? Simone gets a ton of help. I hate hearing it from even before. I hate how, how, how people, how when people comment and say certain things, you know, oh, you do it with two boys and... It's like you just take all of the credit for yourself. No, you have a very, very strong support system. Don't do that. Let's not go there. Let's not go there. Again, with my disclaimers, I'm not plan for scandal nobody. Right? But may I respond to the, 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 the stuff from me here and may I put perspective to it. Because you see, for all of the people them who listen and hear her and empathize with her, that's fine. I do not have a problem. Support her. She will go through it. Me, I got through it, and, and, and me will just, I guess me will figure out how to deal. You get to me, I say, right now, she finds it therapeutic. From a longer time, I know she finds it therapeutic for talk about certain things, just to the camera. I get that. It's not necessarily something I agree with, especially as it relates to the publicizing part of things. But I get it. I, can, I, I get how you can just talk and nobody it's like you can just be heard, so to speak, and not to worry about a response. Look at you get the whole, the whole therapy, the whole therapy sense behind it and stuff like that. You get to me, I say? But <laughs> Simone has a ton of help with the boys. All right? Simone has a ton of help with the boys. Simone talked about money and how she can't even get a car loan. Yo. Because all of the money get funneled through my accounts. Guys, I hope you don't see me as a, as a, as a horrible person because I feel like that's the picture I get painted on me and I hate it so much because the people that know me know that I'm not a horrible person. I am not a horrible person. Not only see them watch the videos them. I support her from long, long time and see me with a jump in every now and again and I hear Luna and even she will sing and praises and I talk about how oh, Jeremy and this and Jeremy and that. But oh, I make sure I make up them that too. But I just want to not understand, right? Now, when stuff gets said, it puts me in a negative light. And may I feel watch again, may I feel watch how I talk. Because I don't want to put her in a negative light. So certain details about her, I don't necessarily want to say. Right? But there is a valid reason. Why all monies had to go through me. And that is all I will say. There is a valid reason why that 
had to happen. Okay? I want to understand that. I don't like my wicked. I don't like my dark or anything like that. But it was necessary, especially for our financial stability. It was necessary for our financial stability. I'm not going into details. I'm not going into details of my marriage. I'm not going into details of certain things. I just want to kind of set the record straight. Because I feel like it's just unfair to hear one side of the story and I hear other sides. And for all of the people who can comment and can respond and, and, and I'm not even hear both sides of the story, like, I'm worried. Like, I'm worried when I see stuff like that. I'm worried when somebody can just take a side and I hear both sides of the story. You see me? Now, the reason surrounding the separation, I'm honestly not even getting at the details of it. It's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. I know, I know, I know, I mean, the word abusive is being used. I really want it to be put into context. Come on, nobody feel like me the way I beat my wife. Can I know them something that happened? I'm understand say abuse is mental, physical, and as well as emotional. So if I go put it in its category, as it relates to physical, me know way I beat my wife. As it relates to mental and emotional, and guess what? The two are abused. Right? Totally abused. Men don't show things the way women show things. We don't. But it does not mean that we don't feel. We feel. And I tell you how. We feel so deeply. We feel so deeply. When I tell them to say, yo, I try. When my relationship, I try. And I tell them to say, I struggle with feeling like a priority. For years, I struggle. Everything will take precedence over me. Our fitness and gym, business, everything took a priority over me. Something I've expressed multiple times. But you still push and try the way you're supposed to do. But now go go on though. Me now go, me now go be the one for said or that. But feel away. Especially knowing that I did everything that I should have done as a husband. Can't hear that thought to come out of my mouth. Because again, but blame come responsibility and I tell you yo. I could have done a lot of things so so differently. If me didn't know no, if me didn't know then I'm know not. I would have done a lot of things differently. But yo, no nobody get it twisted. My wife, I'm not gonna say I loved her. I'm gonna tell you something, I love her. I love her with all of my heart. Cool. I'm a wife. I may say that with love being a choice because you're a regular she rub me the wrong way. You see me? But my choose for lover. My choose for lover. You get me? Just one of the biggest issues, and I guess this is the last thing I believe. One of the biggest issues is 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 our ability to reconcile. And I think I hit I hit a comeback on a hand to it. Because when you really check it out, whenever things used to happen in this relationship. <laughs> I feel good for days and not talk to me. I don't know what I talk, I regular that talk. And when I say I do, I never know somebody else say I do to she and her mother. Because anytime stuff happens, anytime at all stuff happens, that's where she ends up. Over over her mother's house. That's so where she feels comfort. That's so where she feels safety. Over there so she go. Anytime anything happens. You know, just for kinda of get a breather, that's so where she go. But that happened regular. I honestly believe so little things like then to handicap the relationship because the relationship not really get forgot through its issues and breathe and actually like can come out and and we, and we can say yeah we 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 got through this on our own and we deal with this the right way we couldn't avoid each other we didn't have to deal with this you get me Simone wa vengeance Simone wa public humiliation and Simone will weaponize her followers. She will weaponize her followers. Anyway, take it. My reputation I'm going to get dragged in the mud. Anyway, take it. Anyway, take it. I mean, I never expected this would be the reason for me if you actually accompany YouTube and I talk to people. But you just have to do what you have to do. So, yo, fix your crown. Yeah, man, fix your crown, but fix your heart too. You get me? Because 
this vengeance thing, all of this can be resolved if as adults, suppose we're for telling us, oh no, we're not sit down as adults and actually talk about this together. We tried, the church tried to get us in a room together to talk. You get what I'm saying? And even instructions that were given to us to move forward and what we should do to work on each other, um, um, to work on ourselves individually. The instructions that I get follow. So guess what? If a doctor prescribe a medication and you not like how it tastes, you get what I say? If you decide to say you not got to take the medication kind of like how it tastes, where you ever get help? Yo, that's it here, man. I'm not even going on more details. For the ones who must stay and listen, I appreciate it. Again, I really, really, really did try. You know, nobody see me as a horrible person. I can't help that, but that's the facts. I really did try. God can fix anything, though. Tell me, believe you know. So fix your crown, yes, but fix your heart too. Come on, people.